Thanks, Steve. A huge tower of mulch hundreds of feet wide catches fire, and now a Pasco company is slapped with a giant fine. News Channel A's Corey Davis joins us now live on State Road 54, not far from the Suncoast Parkway. Corey, what a mess that was. Well, Jen, good evening to you. This is the second year in a row this company has had to deal with a large fire out here. And I can tell you that is very concerning because there are a lot of new neighborhoods popping up all over. A pile of burning mulch, 30 feet tall, 300 feet wide, very difficult to put out. Firefighters battled this one for several hours Thursday night into Friday morning, dumping gallon after gallon of water. They knew what was at stake here at Paul Materials, a waste management company on State Road 54. The mulch also caught fire exactly a year ago and sparked a huge brush fire in the nearby Starkey Wilderness Park. It was horrible. Don Kehoe's home was filled with smoke as that fire burned for nearly a week. I, I really thought the house was going to get hit. And because of that, some of her family had to be evacuated. I said, hey, you got to come get Graham. Uh, she can't stay here. <laughs> My house was full of smoke and for about five days. Paul Material was issued a $14,000 fine last year, and now we're told they'll be hit with another one just as large. So $28,000 worth of fine in two years, and employees here at Paul Materials wanted nothing to do with us, refusing to explain what they were doing, what steps they were taking, taking to uh, prevent another fire from happening. Live in Pasco County, Corey Davis, News Channel 8.